All right. Hey guys, this is the Zura here. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use XChat 2.0 for viewing a live stream chat from Twitch TV. So, you, most this is mainly directed towards people that are streaming on Twitch TV. Uh, so you can use XChat to view your um, your streams chat without taking a huge hit. Um, from the flash based one provided by Twitch TV you can use all the same commands that you can um, normally at least you can use the timeout and uh, ban commands so um, that's nice I'm actually developing a plugin for XChat to create a chatbot to automatically monitor some channels if the streamers like it so what you want to do is you want to go to the network list now this will show up the first time and you can just click this to skip network list on startup. So I've got one right here that works already. What you want to do is you want to put your nickname up here. This is going to be your Twitch TV um, username. So this is my slave username uh, complete with underscore. This one is just got two underscores and this one just has three. So what we want to do, let's just take a look at how this one works. So these are the different channels that I connect to. Um, go take a look at them. They're quite nice. Uh, so we are going to select Unknown Demon. I know he's streaming right now, but you can add a channel right here. And how you do that is you would type in delete new server and type in your the channel that you want to connect to so so you type the name of the channel then dot jtvirc dot com and then hit enter and that'll save that but I want to connect to unknown demon so I'm going to leave that highlighted I use connect to the server only um and yeah you can edit servers, you can add or remove them, um, favorite channels, sure. Uh, server password is going to be your password. Make sure that you put that in there. So we'll create a new one. Uh, let's close this. We'll add a unknown demon uh, let's just do test. So enter, then we're going to edit. Then up here we are going to do unknown demon dot dot com six 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 seven is the standard port for the IRC clients. Enter to save. You want to connect to this one. So you're going to type in your password for the server password. This is your account that you're logging into. So this is my password. Thankfully you guys can't see it. Um, you can change the character sets down here. So we're going to close. It automatically saves it. We're going to connect. So uh, we will join a channel later. So, now that you're in this server, uh, Twitch TV and Justin TV don't have one standard IRC server. They've got a ton of them. So you always have to point it to the person that you want. And then after you've connected to their server, you have to type join to join a channel. And you have to put join space pound and then the channel name. So un known demon and it might take a few seconds for it to connect to the server and it should show up here on the left Come on. there we go so over here this is the chat area 
Um, and over here we've got the ops. The ops have little green stars next to them. So Darky Girl Plays is in here. Gaze, Mama Dork, Mr. Pepsi, Recon, Shizzy, uh, Unknown Demon. He's the one streaming right now. And you've got all the normal people, including me. It's alphabetical. Um, ops first. And if you are an op, you can. If you are the owner of this channel, you can op or de-op people. You can ban, kick. Uh, you can send files. You can view the dialogue from a specific person, like this. Um, so nothing big. Uh, and then you just want to close that one. All right. And you can type normal things in here, like hello, everyone. Um, and if you are a moderator in the channel or an operator, as it's viewed on XChat, you can type in slash kick and then username. So we'll just show aimbot. So this would give aimbot a timeout from Twitch's view. Now if we were to do the slash ban aimbot, this would give them a permanent ban. Now, if you wrongly gave someone a ban or a timeout, you can just type unban aimbot. And this will remove them from the timeout or the ban that you couldn't give them or shouldn't have given them. And you can view the ban list up here if you are an operator. Now, it's going to show nothing for me because I'm not an operator. So I don't get to see anything. All right. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. Oh, we got some spammers here. So hopefully they get banned pretty soon, or at least timed out. Alright, well, hope this helps you guys. Have a nice night.